This is a follow-up to my dryer simulation being controlled by an Arduino. And as you can see, we have the product that's nearly complete. Um, it's nearly complete because I still have to change my code to be in minutes. So what we have here obviously is the controls for the heat. And then this is sensing for the how wet the clothes are and then power on and off. And then a reset button here. To reset, you can reset that at any time during your code or uh, while it's running or after it's done. Uh, and then you've got controls of going down by 10 minutes and up by 10 minutes. And I go from 10 to 90 minutes. So I'm going to set this. Now as I start this, you will see what happens is it looks like it pauses here. But what I'm doing is I'm starting the, the process of turning the dryer motor and fan on. Five seconds later, I turn on the heater and then it goes, counts down. As you can see, it's counting down. At five minutes, what it'll do is it'll turn the heater off and then it will go for that additional five minutes and then finish. Okay, and to talk a little bit about what we came from, which this is the controller, which has got a motor in there, power comes in, and it's got all these connections for wires going out for controlling. You push this down and then turn it to get to a, a whatever, the desired cycle, and you would pop it up for it to start. That stopped working very well, so I worked on that, and I got that working better, but not well enough. But also there's a motor in here that it's geared down to slowly turn this so it goes through the cycles and it finally ends. Uh, along with that is this circuit board here, which is part of the control. It's got some controls. It's got a chimer, um, the chime, or a buzzer as you want to call it, uh, and some other things. And there are there's some components on here that uh, went bad. Now I'm going to... Um, I'll turn this off here. Now what I did is I used that circuit board. I just cut the circuits to isolate what I wanted and I'm, I'm still using this wire harness which was nice. Kind of gives me some strain relief a little bit and it gives me some wires to connect in easily and so I just connected here and went down to each of the LEDs and the resistors to show the moisture content of the clothing. And I have a couple other wires that are going down below for something else, and I've got them labeled. I've got my 110 volts coming in, and, and a neutral, and then the, the other leg of the 110 is down below. So it's a 220 volts. Um, this dryer will use about 25 amps. What I have for controlling the dryer dr uh, motor is a 110 volt 25 amp rate relay a solid state relay and then i have a 220 volt to um 220 volt ac and 40 amp relay for controlling the heater now that's that's well beyond what is required but i wanted to get a, a lot higher rated a lot higher current rating relay for this this right here used to be the control for turning the chime on and off. Remember, this is our chime or the buzzer right here. And I'm using that as my power for turning on my micro microcontroller. And then there's the buttons for controlling. And right here is the circuit board, which has the, the two seven segment displays. And then you have all those wires, of course, that go into the controller and they're they're put in there and they're, they have some hot glue to hold them on. And we have 110 volts coming in here and neutral breakout boards. And I've got the second leg of the 110 volts down below, which just services the heater itself. And then the relays are hidden under there as well. Now this circuit board and this controller here would cost at least $175 to replace them. I've got probably 20, uh, $25, $30 in this project, but a lot more hours than it would take to, to really justify the cost. 
I don't think this is a good project for someone to do if they're just looking to save money, but if they're they're a weirdo or, <laughs> or if they just want to have some fun, it's, you know, if they have a project that they want to do, and it's it's been a fun project to do.